I want to share this with us. This is a what uh, happened in Abuja, and uh, some people must have seen this video. To be honest with you, because it's a um, it's not a, a trending news about the insecurity. What is going on in Abuja, especially in Abuja, in northern part of Nigeria? So many things is going on there. So many things is going on there, and this uh, this guy shared a video that I would like to share with you. So please bear with me. It could be a, a lengthy one, but. Um, you are not going to regret it because you have to learn something from this. So many people have relatives and friends, family, brother, sister, any anything at all that lives in Abuja because Abuja happened to be the capital city of Nigeria as of today. Now, for some of you that believe so much in Nigeria, this video will make more sense to you than anyone that understands what Nigerian can offer. So I don't want to waste much of your time. Let's hear this shocking story but before they came i was at the master bedroom all of a sudden i started feeling hungry so i went to the kitchen to get something to eat while i was eating in the kitchen there i still i was feeling uncomfortable with that kitchen i don't know my spirit just said i should just go out so i went to the veranda of my house so i was sitting down there i was eating my spirit just told me turn off the lights that is the veranda lights there I turned off the lights. So why I turned off the lights? Maybe I turned off the lights. My dog started barking. Very serious. So I went close to the fence to see why my dog was barking. Why my dog was barking. Lo and behold, I saw one of my workers loading his gun with the um, bullets. Wow. Immediately he noticed I saw him. He shot directly to me. But he did not get me. I ran away. I ran to the back of my house. I called my younger brother to open the door quickly for me. So he opened the door. I locked the door. They started banging on the door, trying to break through the window. You understand? So this is where I did my house. You understand? But the, the door, the door that leads to my master bedroom, I, I did a protector, a very strong protector there. So I was trying to look for keys so that me and my younger ones would just move to the master bedroom and lock that place before they would get into that place to take them time you understand so they shot directly to my brother my younger brother the bullets did not meet him you understand so i became very scared i said with the first these people are coming they are coming i don't think they want to steal they want to you understand so i ran took my brother i told him to go to my master bedroom the toilet and stay so i was trying to like escape from that building so i used the manhole i guess you know what they call manhole no i don't know that um uh how do i explain it manhole this um space they used to put in this, the roof the pop you see an empty space where you can use to okay go for electrician for electrician exactly okay, yeah, electrician. i think they call it manhole okay. so i used through that manhole i came out of the i came to the roof there so i made calls i told them my neighbors that there's robbers in my house i even they tried to call police do you know that police was even around before they even shot me the police was around but they could not to go after them they were even saying that they have to pay them for each bullet they, they, they shoot police act told you that you have to pay <laughs> not me they told them um, our neighbors that if they will if they will shoot they have to pay them for each bullet that they waste you understand say five thousand naira per bullet per bullet and they, they said they should go on with it you understand but they did not even come close to my building you understand so while i was up on the roof so i used my head to hit the, the roof i came out uh, came out of the roof so i was hanging on the roof while i was hanging on the roof you know people keep on calling me you understand they keep the on phone calling. Was yeah my phone keep ringing so I, I put it on flight mode and i threw the phone at the back of the house thinking it would go at the back of the house unfortunately for me the phone fell in the building that was when they knew that i was up of the roof so one of them climbed um, through my water safety tank and they made access to the roof i was coming directly to me he was holding ak-47 with cutlass jesus so when he came close to me that was where my fear left me 
So while he was coming close to me, he now tried to use his um, class to curse me. So I hit him on his hand. The class fell. I took his rifle. On that roof, yeah, I didn't even know how all those things happened. Uh, like that strength was just came upon me. So I lifted him up on that top roof. I lifted him up. I used his back to land on the floor. I don't know if he's, but I believe he will be because the after everything they dragged him out so they will not leave trees so immediately we'll drop from the roof you understand i picked up his gun i tried to shoot then i don't know how to shoot i don't know there's something like a um, safety you understand so the thing did not come out so uh, i just threw the gun i started fighting with them because they surrendered they surrendered so this is the part that i want to advise us this is why you need to learn how to handle catapult because this guy, this, what this man said here, that he don't know how to fire. He had the opportunity to fire the person that wanted to buy, buy him using his own gun. You understand? And he don't know how to fire it. He don't know how to use it. He's very, very bad. At, at his age, he don't know how to handle it. Anyway, let's continue. Because I, I want you to understand the level of corruption in the security of in the security architecture of Nigeria. Just like every other department, like from A to Z is rotten. Nothing if nothing good comes out from it. And remember the people that are going to his this, 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 his house happen to people that have been work that have worked with him, uh, worked for him rather in his house. That's how they know that the man may could provide some cash. I mean if they kidnap him that he can offer some some money and it happened that those people are living in the same estate with him guess who they are the tribe they come from full learning listen because i don't want to be the one to say all those things listen they were like up to 10 of wow. them jesus you understand so they started um, attacking me with the um, class so i was trying to defend myself i don't want the class to touch on my, touch on my face you understand so they tried to hit it out or hit their hand so they couldn't shoot because i know they, they can't shoot me because i'm around them if they shoot it's mistakenly hit anybody you understand so i was hitting their hand i take the class away from them i tried to use the class to cut them but it wasn't penetrating to their body wow. so i think someone came from behind and then um, cut me on my back and cut me in class on my tummy so my tummy opened so i started running while i was running they now shot me on my leg that is my lower leg there they shot me that was where star came out from my eyes i fell down i don't know what they were saying in fulani you understand so i was like eh, how much you guys even want if you want money i'll give it to you and all you understand but you know i feel like the since there are people i know they will, they will not want to keep trees you understand especially that you've recognized them exactly so imagine that guy that even shot one of them that even shot me do you know that i gave that guy i dashed him five thousand naira in the afternoon that day that day okay and this guy still came back in the night with his group his family not even group family and some group of boys planning boys to my house you understand so the next thing i hear they, they pointed the gun on my chest i was like begging like any amount we want to give you calm down now the next thing i just hear yeah, they shot me but I, i'm still asking myself how did god do this you understand all the bullets they shot me the one they pointed on my chest none of them met me on my on my chest you understand the next thing they shot me several times I think one of the people hit me on my hip, my leg. So then I went inside to go and pick up the other guy that I, fell, that I took up from the roof. They went to pick him. And so they came back to confirm if I was one of them caught me again on my leg. So the guy wanted to shoot again the last time on my head. You understand? So and I was not pretending, I was not doing. So they thought I was already so they had to leave. You understand? Because 
more forces are coming. And that's when police started shooting gun and now running that was when police now came. But before police came, before he was still scared, like 13 minutes I was on the floor. I was bleeding from my head, I was bleeding from my hand, I was bleeding from my back, I was bleeding from my tummy, from my hip, my leg, where the gun mm. hits me. So I lie down, I was calling out, they've gone, they've gone, they've gone, maybe you should come and help me. I became very thirsty. You understand? So I just lied and I faced my building. I said, God, I start saying no to so many things just to like serve you. And you still made my life short. It's not better I just it's not better I just do the wrong opposite side of serving you and then um, end up having a shorter life. And this is what you need to understand that. Remember when the when when police wanted to go there initial time, the reason they gave it was that uh, the, the people need to pay them for the blade that they're going to use because they're afraid of people that are holding the same thing they're holding. You understand? Because they later came back there when they had the information that the people those guys have gone. So the blade they use when they're coming back, who gave them the the money to pay for that bullet this will tell you that anytime you are any, any you are a victim of a kidnapper or this planet bandit this police police and the army and what what have you they will allow you to deal with it on your own after you must have faced them or maybe they have fired the person they will not go there to do camouflage because that is what they did they came back to the guy's house after this after the people must have done what they wanted to do even though they, they did not succeed in killing him because god to be honest with you god already saved this man how many people in abuja have faced this kind of thing this is just one out of many because he he, he have opportunity to talk to to share his own uh, story that is why we can hear him now without this i believe that most of you don't even believe that there's any security in abuja because it's a federal territory a federal capital territory and whatever, whatever they call that but that is the headquarter of the Flani bandit. The day that we that we take over Nigeria, it will start from Abuja. That's not the fact. Let's continue listening to his story because it's very, very interesting. Like, why would I stick to you and you still want to make my life short? I tried my best to stand up. I could not. The only thing I could do, I could roll. I started rolling down. That was when the man came to my rescue. They rushed me to a nearby hospital that rejected me. They thought I was going to. So that was when the man took me to National Hospital. They stitched me in a way they thought I was going to. So they said that I need to get blood, I need to get this. We bought blood, we bought all the drugs. National Hospital did not give me my blood. They did not pass blood through my veins. National Hospital Abuja. National Hospital Abuja did not pass blood through my veins. I was in National Hospital for five days. I started complaining. I told my family that they should change the host this hospital, that this hospital is not ready to treat me. And even if I'm calling for help or I need water or anything, they don't even attend to me. Are you serious? The Those of you watching, can you confirm what he's saying? If it's true, I've never been to they, the National they, Hospital. They will testify. They will testify. The, the drugs I bought, you understand? They, used, they took from my drugs and then my blood. They took my blood, used it to give to another person. They gave your blood to somebody else? Gave my blood to somebody else. I was very angry. They are going to give me back that one my shouting. I told my brother that I already yelled at them. You understand? That the next thing they will try to look for a way to me. And since I've yelled at them, I don't feel safe again. They should change the hospital. That's why they took me to a private hospital. When they came for my rescue, they said that there was no blood in me. It was just a um, drip that was going through my little blood and then drip that was going through my vein. If they remove that drip, in the next 20 minutes, I'll be. Mm. Uh, before they took me to the hospital, my brother came to me. You understand? I was like, I thought I was going to die at that moment. You understand? So I was telling my brother, I said, this is who came to attack me, Baba and his children. I stay close to the estate. They are the one that came to attack me. You understand? Even though Baba thought I was 
the home. When people now came close, he now came. He was like, hey, what's he happen? What's he happen? The full man. Mm, he was not sure. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was wearing consign. No, he was even part of the security in the estate. Are you serious? In Abuja, yeah. In Abuja, yeah. Jesus Christ. The last time. He, he was not like, and I told him that I was not telling my brother, Papa full on. I was him. My brother wanted to go in there before police now stopped him. They carried the Baba to the uh, police station. I think they arrested some of them. You understand? My greatest surprise, police released these people without even letting me know. Are you serious? I'm telling you. They released Wait. people. The same people that came to attack you. Exactly. Police released them. I don't know the connection they have. <laughs> police people released them. <laughs> so I was so in the hospital for my life. You know. So I said, let me keep that pending till out of the hospital I'm out of the hospital so I think I spent over a month and then two weeks in the hospital then I came out of the hospital when I came out that day I went to the estate so when I went to the estate I saw one of the guys that came to attack me so I went back I picked up police to go and pick uh, the guy uh, I tried reaching out to my IPO, he stopped picking up my call. And then went to another division to transfer the case. You understand? Now, here is the interesting part. So, he came back from the hospital, he still, you know, felt that, they did, that he did not get justice from the whole thing. And he made an attempt to arrest, to re arrest the guy again. And the police started dodging him. That's why he said he don't know the condition they have. You know, people don't understand when people when when we said Nigerian and uh, insecurity, there are five and six. Just listen, because this this guy is, I believe, he's a northerner, but he's a Christian, I believe. He's not a Muslim, so but I don't think uh, maybe he's made from middle bed. I don't know, but he's not from the Igbo or Yoruba. No, this story that he's sharing with us is something that is happening in Abuja every now and then. Just pay attention to this part, because from this part, you will understand what I am saying. And this is the part that made me to actually react on this video. Not about the history, because history is a well-known something that everybody that care to know what is going on in Nigeria must have seen or must have heard about this kind of story. But this part that he want to share now, is interesting just listen i have to be they have to get the lawyer that will transfer the case out of there that is one that one that i'll mobilize them i said no problem i'll do that since they are willing to to help me so when i uh, paid them i paid them over like two hundred thousand naira for them to transfer the case from the sas office in um, apodia to their own division there so the old guy he came to meet me he said don't worry that's going to help me out that is going to do this that's going to do that i was very happy that they were going to help me so one of the other boys now called me he said that salah is approaching that he wants me to buy cow for his yoga you've not done my job by telling me that i should buy cow for yoga See, police are supposed to help me. See, police not <laughs> even helping me like stop the insecurity going on in abuja You're telling me to buy cow okay so I said, okay, no problem. I just end the call and blocked him. This is sad, honestly. That was what happened. This is really sad. Nigerian police, why? I went to um, I went to the uh, Nigerian headquarter. That is uh, this uh, headquarter in Gariki. Is it Gariki? That their first headquarter. Is that central? Area? That central area there. Yeah. yeah. So I went there to complain. Yeah. Complain to them that this is what happened to me. This is what happened to me. One police officer that came to me. He now told me he told me that I should let it go. He now asked me that do I believe in one Nigerian? I said yes. He said I should move that thought in my heart. That it is nothing like one Nigerian. That these people, even if they are poor, no matter how rich I see them, that they are the ones ruling Nigeria. They have people at the top. That is Did you hear that? One police officer approached him and said, Do you believe in one Nigeria? He said yes. Okoko okay, okay, said yes. After going through all this, what happened to him? Maybe he I'm not blaming him actually because he don't know who is who. The man said, You should <coughs> excuse me. You should remove that thought in your mind. This is happening. This one is happening in Abuja. 
this is not Simon Ekpa saying, you know, so remember, he did not talk to Simon Ekpa, the Prime Minister. He did not talk to Master Naman Ekpa in DSS. He did not talk to anybody that actually understands what freedom is all about. He is talking direct one on one with top police officer in Abuja. The guy, of course, he, 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 you, may, you may say the guy, maybe the police officer is an evil man, but what gives him confidence to tell this in Otana? This guy that he know very well is not an evil person, he's not a Biafra. Ask him, do you believe in one Nigeria? This is somebody that's this is somebody that's working in federal territory. Do you believe in one Nigeria? This guy said yes, that I believe in. He said, remove that thought from your mind. That these people you are seeing here, they are the one owing everything in Nigeria. They have contact that you don't have. They whatever they commit, they will get away with it. That is the order of the day. After going through these things, you see, see, see some people. Uh, we need to build a political solution to make this country work. That um, you guys are creating insecurity in the South East. And what they call insecurity in the South East is civil disobedience. The, what happened to this man in Abuja have not happened. You can't see it now in any part of uh, Biafra land. I'm not saying that it have not happened before. In fact, what is happening in the north, south, uh, you know, this uh, northeast and northwest and whatever they have, you whatever they have there, is the plan they have for southeast and they couldn't deliver it. They have to bring it to someone somewhere else, and they are testing it in this region, and they have conquered many, many, many places. In that, just what a coincidence! Just few hours ago, like yesterday. And um, yesterday, and the same yesterday, this guy shared this video. I don't know when he interviewed this guy, but just imagine that yesterday, the news have it that terrorists have taken over Mer Nigerian military, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, Nigerian military training camp in the north. Not they went there to attack. They have taken over, meaning that they are not the owner of that place. And they have built many camps around that region more than eight different camps this is the inter they have oh, this this is not this is not uh information coming from the camp of these terrorists no nigerian security agents are the one telling us what they have what they can see what they know about about this but where is the fighter jet they are using in or they have they use in or uh in uh oro in emo state they use that in uh in uh, many communities in uh, Imo states, why are they not using it where they're supposed to use it? Because they know that the full soldier, the terrorists that are taking over those places, they are their children, their father, their uncle, and what have you. And they want Nigeria. Now, go again. Controlling them that you can't do that, I can't do them anything. That's what they told me. I was like, wow. This is just unbelievable. People who live around the life camp, they can testify to this insecurity. You see how this uh, Lucky, the, the guy that is interviewing this man, you see how he said, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Then you get a part where Lucky said that uh, he still believed that Nigerian security we still do something about it. That he still believes that the more when people are coming out to talk like this, it's gonna change anything. That is one thing the problem I have with an average black people, especially from the from Nigeria, from the southeast or uh, old eastern region, because he is from Delta, I believe. This lucky of a guy is pretend that he does there's still green light at the end of the tunnel, but deep down his soul, he knows that he's that there's nothing to offer. But for the sake of his job, you know, to interview people to do this, he will still pretend that uh, Nigerian security will give you the chance. Don't worry. Even the guy that ha that that came there that is that that is giving him this first class information told him that he don't see, he don't think that it's gonna it, it, it's gonna change soon. But guess what? Lucky have to sound politically correct, which I don't blame him somehow because. Yeah, so he don't want to be in that kind of position. I understand that, but some sometimes you don't need to. You have to say it the way it is. Let's continue. Go your life calm. What is wicked to 
ask about this uh, okay, what is it disturbing to you does this mean that we are no longer safe in this country anymore no I mean, this is the federal capital territory of nigeria no how can something like be happening and then nobody's doing absolutely anything about it what exactly is wiki doing wiki is the FCT and it's not even about showing off or you having money these people they go after anybody anybody, anybody. it's not about staying low key staying safe once they find a vulnerability they'll come for you the government they know about this if they want to stop this thing they'll stop it if you meet any high profile like most of the high profile uh, officers i've met they'll say uh, they would have loved to help me but they don't put their job at risk they would have loved. you will hear different stories the government know about this. I think they are making money from this. That's why they are not even like what is God. Sometimes I even ask myself, like, who supply these people gone? All of them were armed AK-47. I don't know. You go and search what how much we clear. Search how much AK-47 is cost. Mission. But they don't put their job at tricks. You will hear different stories. The government know about this. I think they are making money from this. That's why they are not even like what is God. Sometimes I even ask myself, like, who supply these people gone? All of them were armed AK-47. I don't know. You go and search what how much we clear. Search how much AK-47 is cost. Forget they are not ordinary bricklayers. They are using those means to get information. They are using those means to get information. God will help us in this Nigerian. I, I believe a lot of people are, have gone through this process because even while I was in the hospital, I saw similar. I'll pass that to God also, but God will help us. A shift to that to God immediately. Ike Gopa. Now go again. Like my case in the hospital, there was a lady that they got her infected with HIV. They kidnapped her. I think she finally paid the ransom. So she, our own part of the story was um, they were treating them malaria. Why they were kidnapped? Why they were kidnapped? They were treating them malaria in the in the bush with one injection, one syringe. They used it to choke all of them, like inject all of them. That was how she contacted the HIV. She was saying that she wants to die, that she can't live, that she can't live with the virus and all. A lot is going on in this country, and the government is not even doing anything to stop this insecurity. The way forward, I feel like you've lost our working in this country. If the laws are working in this country, that's when this country will be better. That's when this country will be better. Okay, his own side of the story, his own belief is that when the law started work, when the law start working in this country that things will be better. Now the question is, what stopped law from working in, in the first place? If you can solve the reason why law is not working, then you will have the answer that you want, which is law working. So if you cannot identify why law is not working in the first place, then how do you expect law to start working? Because it has been 60 years now that law is not working. So it's not something that you say, okay, miraculously it will start tomorrow. So 60 years of lawlessness, when what makes you think that law that law is not working what stopped law from working in the first place if you can identify it then you know the problem honestly because the way i see the law now anybody can if you have any criminal cases you can just go and pay it off and they'll stop your case or you have anything they'll pay you pay it off and they'll stop because what i heard i heard that they bribed those police that's why they released that's why they released those people wow and that's the those fulani are still roaming about their estates their house is still in that estate police is not even going about it do you know i, I was working with one of the you know they said if you want to if you want to get your enemy you work with your enemy understand so there was one of the Fulani guy that was close to me he told me that if he knew that they were coming after me that he would have told me he opened a lot of secrets he told me read them that uh, there's a man that used to supply them gun in Abuja that they'll go there to rent the gun from them if they kidnap those people you understand i don't know how they do it if they kidnap them you understand the ransom that they get they'll share it among themselves and that's what they do do you know i gave police this information and police is not willing to work with this information jesus they said they have we a man gone. the man that used to supply them gone 
He even told me that all these hills I'm seeing in Abuja, that it links to different places. The Asokoro, they said the he said the um, Asokoro only link to Abu, uh, Jukwe, the Kurudu only link to Kuzapi. He said a lot of things. I give, I even gave, I took the guy to with uh, took him to, to work with the uh, police people so that they can get hold of all those people. Police did not go. Police did not go after him. If he's a uh, one random person now, uh, this is show their police. Face. police you, have you not noticed that if they catch all these full and new people, they don't used to show their face. They'll cover their face. They'll cover their face. But, but if they catch different, different, different people, they'll show, they'll show their, their face. face. And they'll f them up and they'll get there. If, if you're looking for justice, uh, if someone attack you from a different state and you're looking for justice, you get justice immediately. But it's from this other tribe, you'll never. Hey, goodness. What is that? If they arrest them, no, no. if they arrest them, they'll release them. That papa that, that they released, he was saying that his, uh, his, his, uh, his, his daughter married a corner, that nothing can happen to him. Nobody will do him anything. Roaming about the estate freely, the government is not even willing to go after them. The papa that came to attack him. Yes, even the, the, the information I gave to them, I told them that I know the people that I used to, the full and guy gave me accurate information about the people supplying them gun. I gave their information to them. They did not work with it. Yes, security is not a flourishing business in Nigeria. May God help us and keep every one of us safe. <laughs> Even some of these police officers. There are some police officers that are willing to work, but they don't but put their scared. job. They are scared. They are scared. They are scared. They are How would their family survive? They don't risk their job. Truthfully, I, I believe so. And you see, from what this man said, sometimes it's not about being nice to people. You can. He said he gave somebody 5000 at that day. That guy and that same money. day, yes. the person came with gun to come attack him. So it's not about being nice, you see? This is well. Oh, God. Please help us. So. <clears throat> Who is the most that will come help us right now? Which of the apostles in Nigeria? Which of the prophets? Which of the pastors? Who is God going to send we can, man. We to can. come rescue his children? We because we do it. <laughs> what is going on right now, man? It's really, really crazy. We are oppressed and we don't know who's going to come help us. Okay. May God help us. Bro, I'm grateful to God for sparing your life. I'm happy that I'm alive to share my story. And thank you so much for sharing your story. Okay, let me allow him to say that part. I think he's going to the part where he, where they were, where they talked about um, how Nigerian will fix it. I don't know that he believes that he, he will, the it is will be will be okay. <laughs> let me let me allow him to say. I wanted to end the video, but let, let me allow him to say that. I hope that it will help the security agencies to to, to take their jobs. The truth is, if you keep complaining from now to tomorrow, police will not do anything. I feel like they might do something. Uh, they will not do if anything. There are enough people coming out to talk about it. Uh, they want they are to protect money their names. Even money if they want to protect their name. If you are talking about it privately, nobody is going to pay attention to you. But once you come out publicly to talk about it, you know, they want to... The police Remember the guy told him that uh, he gave them first class information. He even bring the guy that told him how they got their gun, that they couldn't work with him. So secretly, oh, is he when they start talking and saying it in public, you think they will work? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, for more than how many years now? Nigerians have been talking about oh, they they cutting money from us in checkpoint. They are, we are paying, we are bribing police. Tell me what that has done to to save masses. Like after complaining, has it stopped them from asking you for money? That's why it's no. Did do, do they do they do they stop uh, Martin? Have they stopped Martin check, checkpoint in uh, in the in the road like highway and the, you know the road and link to other 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 towns? No, they, you can see them everywhere. I don't know if they if they have those roadblocks in uh, Abuja. But I know I'm 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 sure of the one in the eastern part because that is where I come from. Man, listen. This is willing to work. I'll education. give them this information. I'll give them. They'll go and they will not do anything. God help us. <laughs> the children are so free. So up in Abuja. Anyway, anyway, let me not uh, waste much bore you with this. He said Abuja is not safe at all. It's so messed up in Abuja. <laughs> I, I not only Abuja. This is just one out of millions you that lives in uh, other places maybe you are not especially in uh, anambra in abra in a boy in enugu in emo 
you don't uh, you only hear insecurity and you, you to you the cause of insecurity is uh, Simon Ekpa and the uh, friends okay okay they want to do it but then the political solution they want Nigeria I know when I'm going to let God help us so God somebody help us so he can go is it those in the far north they are going through hell as well Anyway, tell me what you think about this because I just want to share it with us so that it will be a kind of refresh, you know, to refresh our memory on the issue at hand. What prompts that friends to say, okay, let us have our own security? What made Mass Namrican to form ESN in the first place? Even though the ESN later turned against our people and all that, that's a story for another day. But this is the reason why people are now working hard to solve the problem. Amoteku in the Yoruba land they are still doing their own, but Amoteku could not stop Flani from taking the farm you know farmland of uh, of Yorubas. Yesterday I saw in the news of Amoteku solving problem between hairstyles and uh, farmers. They are still having the challenges because they want to accommodate the people that oppose threat in the on everybody in the name of uh, political wing and other nonsense but that's a story they want to share so thank you so much my people thank you for watching and play play before you go like the video comment and tell us where you watch from where you are watching from rather and what you think about what you've discussed god bless you subscribe if you are new please it's very important see you again and bye bye